Hi everyone, Chad Biggerstaff, attorney here with Ramos Law, coming to you with another episode of the House of Law. Today we're going to talk a little bit about the difference between criminal law and civil law. Stay tuned. Criminal laws are the rules that apply to someone who has committed a crime, such as robbery, burglary, arson, rape, you get the idea. Um, when someone commits a crime, they are prosecuted by the state or the district attorney, assistant district attorney, uh, when that person goes to court. In civil law refers to almost all other disputes. Um, these are disputes like family law, could be divorce and custody, could be consumer law like bankruptcy or debt collection. Uh, it could be when somebody sues somebody else, a business or an agency. Uh, when somebody sues somebody for personal injury or damage to their property, they all go to civil court. Um, judges have different powers in criminal court and civil court. Judges in criminal court, when you violate a crime, if you're found guilty, they have the ability to send you to jail and remove a freedom. In civil court, the judge only has the right to order you to pay money, a fine, or perhaps decide what happens to your family or property. Which do you think has higher consequences? Criminal law, right? Because you can go to jail. As a result, the standard of proof in a criminal case is much higher than the standard of proof in a civil case. Standard of proof is just what's needed to prove your case. You probably know the standard of proof in a criminal case. It is beyond a reasonable doubt. Uh, in that situation, a juror or a person who's watching the hearing would have to determine beyond any reasonable doubt that that person is guilty. If they do have any reason to have any doubt of the guilt of the party, they must acquit that person or find them not guilty. In civil court, the punishments, again, are only money or fines, so the standard of proof is much less. Criminal law, the standard of proof is beyond a reasonable doubt. In civil law, the standard of proof is by a preponderance of the evidence, which basically just means more likely than not. Now, I think we all agree that the punishment for violating a criminal law versus civil law is much higher, therefore the standard of proof is higher. This is also why somebody who's been charged with a crime and acquitted or found not guilty of that crime can still be found guilty of the civil suit or found at fault in a civil suit and end up having to pay somebody. So just a quick recap, criminal law, standard of proof is much higher beyond a reasonable doubt because the potential penalty for violations of a law in criminal is to be put in jail or have a freedom removed. The standard of proof in civil law is only by a preponderance of the evidence because the consequences of being ruled against in a civil suit is only money, fines, or disposition of property or family matters. That's it for today. Thanks for joining us for another episode of House of Law. See you next time.